Hey guys, happy Monday. It's Jennifer here to chat for another week, get you fired up. And if I am being totally honest, sometimes Monday rolls around and I have a hard time thinking about what to talk about. <laughs> and so what I wanted to do this week is I've been interviewing all these top producers and it's just funny how the same things keep coming up with every single one of them. And basically what I've done for you this week is I have boiled it down to three things. Every one of the top producers I have talked to does these three things. They have these three things in common. And I, I know we say this again and again, but guys, there is no magic bullet. There is no marketing you can pay for. There's no service that all of a sudden is going to get you all this business. Then chasing the next shiny thing is not going to do it. You have to do these basic three things. If you just focus on these three every morning when you wake up and you think, I don't know what to do, do these three things you will be successful, I promise. These are the things I have noticed from every top producer I have talked to. Number one, they go into the office, they stick to a schedule and they treat it like a real job. We can't say this enough. I know that the flexibility of this job is amazing. It will also destroy your career if you don't learn how to structure your own day. It is 8.45 right now. I'm in my office, in my house, starting my work day. I'm in my office at basically the exact same time every single day, Monday through Friday to get going. Go into the office. I can't tell you how much I learned when I was a new agent from listening to other agents. And I've noticed every top producer I talk to, they are working at least 40 hours a week. And most of them get up and go into the office at the exact same time every single day. So just structuring your day and treating it like a real job is the first thing. The second thing, and this might be, please hear me on this one if you don't hear anything else. Every single one of them engages with people face to face every single week. So that's prospecting, but I'm not talking about prospecting where you are texting or calling or you're sending drip email campaigns. They are in front of people face to face at all the time. And that can be through a variety of ways. Some of them, you know, started community groups, networking groups, joined Bunko, joined clubs or at their kids softball game, talking to people, got involved in their kids school. You can, if you can't do any of those things, open houses. Every single top producer talked about open houses because it's face-to-face -face engagement with people. I know um, Joseph, who I interviewed, he, he is out at restaurants and Starbucks. You know, he is out all the time and he meets people. This is how he got all of his business because he has a goal for himself to meet, you know, X number of new people a day. You don't do that sitting inside your house. You do that or sitting in the office. You do that by getting out into the community and talking to people. So make sure you are doing something every single week that will get you face to face with other people. Go join a community group, like I said, volunteer somewhere at a charity. If you can't do any of those things, for sure be doing open houses. Go out, have dinner, talk to your waitress, You know, talk to other people sitting at the bar. Engage with people face to face. That is probably one of the number one ways that you will get business. And then the third thing is they all have the same mindset. Mindset is so important, guys. Um, Having that, they're all, they'll have that hustle mentality. You know, I'm gonna succeed, I'm gonna work hard, I'm gonna grind. And not only that, they have resiliency. You have to have resiliency in this career because it's tough. You are gonna get told no so many more times than you are gonna get told yes. There is in the Navy SEALs, they have a, they have a big long creed, but there's a piece in there that says, if knocked down, I will get back up every time. You have to have that same type of mentality. There are 43,000 realtors here in Houston. If you want to be successful, you are going to have to have the mentality that every time I get knocked down, I'm going to learn from it and I'm going to get back up and I'm going to try again. Almost all of the top producers I talk to have had that kind of mindset. They have talked about how I failed at this and I failed at this and I failed at this. And every time they learned from it and they got better and they kept going. So those three things, guys, Schedule your day, treat it like a real job, engage with people every day, every week, face to face, preferably, and three, have the mindset 
that you are going to succeed. You are going to work hard. And no matter what happens, you are going to get back up and keep going. That's it, guys. Success leaves clues. You don't have to go try to find the secret sauce somewhere. This is it. Everybody who's successful does those three things. So do those three things this week. I promise, you know, when you start to look back, six months, a year from now, your business is going to be so much better because of it. I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you next Monday. Bye.